But number six here, we have a situation where adult tickets and children tickets cost different um, amounts of money. And they're telling us a lot about how many tickets were bought and stuff like that. So as you read this question, you quickly identify that, hey, it looks like we can write some nice equations here. So I'm just going to call the adult tickets A and the children tickets C. The question told us that we bought um, 44 of them, right? So we know that adds up to 44. The number of adult tickets plus number of children tickets, there were a total of 44 of them. But if you kind of think about how much we spent, we bought, um, if you think about the number of adult tickets you bought, each one was $9. And the number of children tickets, each one was $5 for a total of $312 is how much we spent. Now, at this point, you have two equations. You have equation at top and you have another one at the bottom. And the math here requires you to do two things. There are two ways you could solve this moving forward. You could use the substitution method, in which case the question is asking to, to find the number of adults. So we want A. So we would solve for um, C and then plug it in here and so that everything will be all in terms of A. You could do that. Or you could use the elimination method in which you want to eliminate either the A or the C. Since the question wants you to find A, you want to eliminate C because you don't want C to be there. So how do I eliminate the C? C is 5C. Um, there's a 5C here, but there's a C here. So it would be nice if this C could be a 5 as well and have maybe a negative. A 5 as well and have a negative. So the way I do that is I just think about the whole thing. I multiply this by 5 there. So this runs through. If I run through this, I'm going to get negative 5a. I'm going to get negative 5c. And I'm going to get 44 times that 5 will give me negative 220 there. All right. So that's where we are. So now, so pretty much this, this first one I multiply through by 5. This is what it, it's, it's now giving me. Obviously, the 5c and the negative 5c go away. The 9a minus 5a is 4a there. And over here, I have 312 minus the 220. If you subtract that, that gives you 92. Okay. Um, now, at this point, you could divide by 4 as well. And when you do that, you create a situation where this gives you 23. And that is your A, and that's your answer. So that's how you find A um, to find this. So again, remember, there are two methods. You could have used substitution method if you're more comfortable with that, or the elimination method. I've used substitution in other videos, so I kind of wanted to use elimination method here to give you the, the difference between both of those. Um, so that's where we are. We are for A, our number is 23, and you just put that in a box, and that's the answer to this question.